I thought I'd post a little update on the Tram 1499 antenna. Um, as I mentioned in my previous video, I was having trouble with the SWR when it's cold, and I was going to show you. Right now, it's with the antennas here, 31 degrees outside, almost 32. And as you can see, when we check our SWR here, let's go ahead and set it here. You can see it's running about maybe 1.7 on channel one. And on channel 40, let's set it here. We're getting about 1.5, 1.6. What I did with the antenna, I added 18 more feet and did a couple of wide coils with the excess table on the, with the excess coax on the table at the base of the antenna. Now I'm not sure if it's the additional 16 feet of cable, of coax, or if it's coin lean it at the base of the antenna. I'm not an expert on an antenna of dynamics, but it did bring it down um, to an acceptable level, even though that's a little high. Um, last night, I haven't done my range test yet, but last night on my old JC Penny here, I had I had the Tram 1499 hooked up to, and I have a friend that's probably five and a half, six miles away from here, and he was able to receive me. So I know the Tram is at least sending out, you know, between five and five and a half and six miles uh, that I'm able to be heard running barefoot. And that was an SWR with around, at around 1.5, 1.6. So um, that's kind of in line with the other tests that I've seen on YouTube with the range of the antenna. I've seen some a little bit less, but um, five to six miles seems um, pretty good for uh, this short of an antenna. And like I said before, the only, you know, the antenna seems to do okay, but um, I, I don't like the SWR going up when it gets cold. And for the life of me, I can't figure out why it's doing that. I thought I would end this video by showing you what happens when the temperature warms up. 34 degrees right now. And then if we go back over here, let me show you the SWR. We're set on channel one. Let's do a quick check. And barely any motion. That's really tuned well on channel one. And then let's go to channel 40. All right, and channel 40, same thing, very little motion. So only thing I can possibly think it could be is one of two things. It's either condensation forming in the aluminum tube or metal tube on the antenna or possibly the temperature change uh, causes some expansion and contraction with the cold and heat. But changing at 34 degrees, you know, I don't think it's the metal uh, contracting or expanding. I'm not really sure on that. If anyone has any thoughts on that, please post. So there you have it. And this will probably be the last post on my Tram 1499 with this weird issue. And I might still do a range test, though. Um, reaching my friend five and a half, six miles away kind of uh, showed me that it's getting the range that most other YouTubers observed. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.